Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Learn and Travel. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to install GNS3, setting up GNS3 VM, and making a basic network topology lab in GNS3. We know GNS3 is a wonderful emulator. The main three pros of GNS3, which I feel, is before you deploy any network configuration changes in production, it is always good you can test in the lab environment using GNS3. Secondly, it helps engineers, especially uh, network engineers like me, to play with vendor appliances to excel knowledge in those appliances. And everyone do not have the opportunity to work with various network vendor appliances. So here in GNS3, you can play with that. So firstly, you need to go to gns3.com and sign in. So I have signed in with, with my username and password. You need to download the GNS3 software here. So I'm currently using Windows 10. So I'll be using the Windows 10 version. So click on download. Uh, let the download executable file gets, get downloaded. So it's downloaded, now let me install it. It's very straightforward, just next, next, finish kind of thing. Here, I'm also gonna choose GNS3 VM and GNS3 Web Client, next. Here, I have VMware Workstation already installed in my computer, so I'll install TNS3 VM here on VMware Workstation. Click Install. Wait for the installation to get completed. It will take a couple of minutes to complete. It is now downloading the DNS3 VMware VM workstation. So please stand by. It's been downloaded. Click on OK. Uh, it's also downloading SolarWinds Party. This is the terminal with which you will log into the appliance. So we have successfully completed installation of uh, GNS3. Next step is to install VMware uh, Workstation. So I have already installed this VMware Workstation 15.5 Pro. So this requires license, FYI. So once this is downloaded, now we need to download the GNS3 VM. So since I'm using VMware Workstation, I'll be downloading this one, not VirtualBox or ESXi or Hyper-V. So it's a 631 MB file. Let's wait for this to be downloaded. So it's downloaded now. So this is the file which got downloaded, gns 2 vm Let me unzip this file here. So you can find that VM with .ova extension. Now I have to open VMware Workstation. Now open a virtual machine since we have the OVA file with us. Click on that. So let me open the OVA file from here. It's still in my desktop, import. So it's now importing the GNS3 VM file that dot ov extension let's wait for this importing to get completed So it's completed now. Let me open GNS3. So once you open GNS3, you can see this. Uh, what happens is GNS3 
with the help of API, it calls uh, the VM which is uh, configured here, like in the VMware workstation. So you can see it's starting. So once it gets completed, once the VM gets com booted up properly, you can see the CPU and RAM information here. So here you go. Sometimes uh, there may be chances you do not see this for that. Uh, you may have to restart the VM. So let me tell you one thing. If you go to preferences here on the uh, GNS3 emulator, and if you see this option, GNS3 VM, here you'll find that option to enable or uh, disable uh, GNS3 VM. If you disable this, this thing will go and the VM will get shut down. It depends. So let me go uh, with these options. This, this is really important. So here we have clicked on enable. That's why you are seeing the GNS3 VM here. VM name is GNS3 VM. That's what it's configured here, GNS3 VM. It's running on port 80, port 80. So that is the local host port with which it communicates with the VM. Uh, here, uh, from here, you can specify how much virtual CPUs and RAM. So if you allocate uh, CPU and RAM from here, what it will do with the help of API, it will put that desired values on your VM. So you don't have to change it from here. You don't have to go to settings and uh, go to memory or change the memory settings or anything from here. The uh, processor means the virtual CPU. You don't have to do it uh, anything from here. And also it's GNS3 doesn't recommend you to do that. It's always better to change the values here, hit on apply. So same thing will be replicated on the VM here. So we are good to uh, complete this part. So, okay, secondly, uh, to configure a network switch or anything, uh, let me show you how to do that. So you need to create a new template. Install an GNS3 server, which is recommended. Click on this option, hit next. So what kind of device you want to uh, configure? So. If it's firewall, you have different types of firewall which you can choose. You have brocade, checkpoint, Cisco, IAC, 40K, different firewalls. You have guests like you can use the clients. This, these are clients uh, in your network topology. You have different various types of routers, Cisco routers, Alcatel routers, and you have load balancers here, A5, Big IP, LTN. You have Juniper. You have various uh, network devices. Here you have different various kinds of switches. You have Nexus 9000, 9K switches. So let me do one thing. Let me install a Nexus OS. Let me show you the steps. So I have clicked here, hit install. So install appliance on the NSC VM recommended. Hit next, next. So here what it will do is it will try to find uh, the OS, whether it's downloaded in your computer or not. Images, uh, you need to install uh, QCOW2 image for GNS3. Make sure you are doing that. And it's not free. So for my case, I have a paid account with Cisco. So I have downloaded it. So you need to download it. So you, for me, it's already downloaded. That's why you're seeing it green and ready to install. So for your case, if it's, not, if it's not downloaded, you need to download it. If you download, click on download, it will redirect you to Cisco website. And from there, you need to make sure you are downloading this particular file, this particular uh, image. I beg your pardon. So particular image. So once it's downloaded and you hit refresh, you'll see it green, ready to install. So click next. So yes, I hit next. So it's uploading the image. So the default password is admin admin. Wait for the image to get downloaded. Uploaded, sorry. So it's uploaded now. Hit finish. The appliance has been installed and template named Cisco NX7 NXOS 7.3.0 has been successfully created. Hit OK. So here you can see now. So if you go to switches, Cisco Nexus OS version 7.3.0 has been installed. So you can put it here and right click you can start it now so once you start it see your cpu start rising because the switch is booting up now if you hit console you can see the cisco's nexus 7k getting booted up
So since the time it's getting booting, uh, booted up, let me show you a few things. This is the SolarWinds uh, RT which is being used here as a console. So if you need to change any settings here, of suppose if you want to change the background or if you want to change the font color size, here is the option. You can go to settings. From here, go to general, uh, uh, launch party, and uh, you know the you know this thing. So from here, you need to go to appearance and you can change all various kind of settings font for those things. Once everything is complete, you need to go to session and save this. Once you save it and save it here, you'll be able to see the same thing here. So from this is how you change the font color and the background here in GNS3. So the switch has been successfully booted up. Let me log in with username and password. So here you go. So by this way, you can play around. You can uh, make various kind of network topologies. You can practice. So anything you OK. And let me tell you one more thing. Suppose you forgot the username and password of the switch, the default username and password. You can go to configure, go to usage. Here you can find the default username and password. So I think this video was informative, and I would like to end it here. Thanks for watching. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching.